Do you remember, all the hysteria in the Christian world? Of which I was one. About the Revelation 12 sign being assembled in the stars of heaven, on September 23, 2017. At that time. I believed with all my heart, that the rapture was going to take place, and when it didn't, I was destroyed. On that day I had a lot of words with God, and in my anger I asked. How am I supposed to be a teacher of your word, when you keep hidden, the meaning of the text? I told God, I will no longer teach on the rapture, until I am confident, I know where it is positioned, in time. And from that time until now, some six years later, He has been illuminating to me scripture, as I come across it, to show me where the rapture falls in time. And now, after my last video, titled, Isaiah 66, War and Resurrection, it opened my understanding concerning the woman of Revelation 12 because of the similar wording. I am confident, if you read Revelation 12, only the verses pertaining to the woman, in the light of what is being said in Isaiah chapter 66, verses 5 to 8, you can see in what position the rapture is taking place, and how the woman, plays into it. We will begin in Revelation 12, verse 1. Scripture says, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. We are going to spend some time on just this one verse. To show that, whatever happened in the alignment of the stars and planets, on September 23, 2017, has no reference to what is being spoken of in Revelation, chapter 12. Highlighted in the green. It says, appeared. The word, appeared means, to show oneself, before the face of another. Ask yourself. On September 23, 2017, did something appear in heaven, and show itself, before your face? Or did you have to search for it in heaven, with a telescope? Highlighted in the orange. It says, a great. The word, great means. Maga. As in, enormous in size and dimensions. On September 23, 2017, did something appear in heaven, and show itself, before your face? Enormous in size and dimensions, or did you have to search for it in heaven, with a telescope? Highlighted in the red. It says, wonder. The word, wonder means. Something transcending the common. On September 23, 2017, did something appear in heaven, and show itself, before your face? Enormous in size and dimension, that transcended common everyday events, or did you have to search for it in heaven, with a telescope? Highlighted in the yellow. It says, A woman clothed with the sun. The word, woman has reference to, the whole house of believing Israel. And she being clothed in the sun, has reference to her being glorified, and appearing as bright as the noonday sun. On September 23, 2017, did something appear in heaven, and show itself, before your face? Enormous in size and dimension, that transcended common everyday events, of a woman shining as bright as the sun. Highlighted in the gray. It says, And the moon under her feet. The moon is the moon. And this is being used as a point of reference. To alert you that she is in the sky, as a light, above the earth. On September 23, 2017, did something appear in heaven, and show itself, before your face? Enormous in size and dimension, that transcended common everyday events, of a woman shining as bright as the sun, as a light above the moon, above the earth. Or did you have to search for it in heaven with a telescope? Highlighted in the white. It says, and upon her head, a crown of twelve stars. The crown is a victor's crown. Or a crown of triumph. Given when you finish the race. And the twelve stars are the whole house of Israel. Shining as a light of understanding, and for the guidance, of all the nations. On September 23, 2017. 
did something appear in heaven, and show itself, before your face. Enormous in size and dimension, that transcended common everyday events, of a woman shining as bright as the sun, as a light above the moon, above the earth. With a crown of victory upon her head. Which shows her as royalty, and a light of understanding, and for the guidance of the nations. The answer, to every one of those questions, is no. For an example of a great wonder, is the token of the sign of the rainbow, which appears before your face, and is across the face of the whole sky, which was not the case that happened on September 23, 2017. Now, let's look at the correct rendering, of what is being pictured, in Revelation the 12th chapter, verse 1. If you have not, figured it out yet. This is the actual day the resurrection and rapture will take place. And what is being described is the accomplishment of that promise. On that day, across the sky, before everyone's face, in the canvas of heaven, will appear a woman, consisting of resurrected, changed and raptured people. Shining as the sun, above the earth. And as the lesser light of God, wearing a crown symbolizing one who has finished the race, and are now stars of God, ready to instruct and guide the nations, without error, concerning the things of God. Understand, that this single woman, represents the entirety of the multitude of people, that makes up the body of Christ, who were both dead and alive, and are now prepared to rule and reign with Christ, in His kingdom, as a light to the Gentiles. As Scripture says, And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. And she being with child cried, travailing in the birth and pained to be delivered. Continuing with verse 2. It is the process that takes place to accomplish the birth in verse 1. It says, And she being with child cried, travailing in birth. Compare this with Isaiah chapter 66, verse 8, which says, Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. The she, spoken of in verse 2, here in Revelation, is speaking of the earth. The land that is full of the blood, bones, and bodies of the prophets, and believers of all the eras. The same she, as what is being depicted in Isaiah. And in both cases she is the land, pregnant with the saints, and in pain, waiting to be delivered. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Most commentators believe this is speaking about Jesus, for these three reasons. Highlighted in the yellow, it was a man-child, she gave birth to. And in scripture, it usually has reference to Jesus. Highlighted in the green, it speaks about, ruling with a rod of iron. And in scripture, it usually has reference to Jesus. And highlighted in the blue, it speaks about being caught up to his throne. And in scripture, this has reference to the throne of Jesus. So I thoroughly understand, why to most teachers, this would be explained as speaking about Jesus. However, Scripture also says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. In this case, Scripture is saying, Highlighted in the yellow, he that overcomes, the saint that holds on to faith, till the end. Highlighted in the green, to him, not Jesus, he will be made a ruler over the nations. And highlighted in the brown, he, not Jesus, will rule the nations with a rod of iron. In verse 1 of Revelation 12, we learn that the woman wears a crown of twelve stars. And learn that the crown, is a crown of victory, a crown of triumphant. And it is given to the saints that finished the race. And they are, 
he that overcometh. And they are, he that is resurrected and raptured to the throne of God and Jesus. And they are, he that will help Jesus to rule and reign over the nations with a rod of iron. These are they, to whom the earth gave birth to, at his second coming. And why do I say, that this great wonder, of a woman clothed in the sun, with the moon at her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, will appear in the sky, at his second coming? One reason is because, according to Isaiah chapter 66, which we took the meaning of that verse and applied it here. That verse is referencing a resurrection, and rapture at his second coming. Therefore, it must also apply here. But using scriptures in this same chapter, with a little critical thinking, brings you to this same conclusion. Scripture says, And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and a half time from the face of the serpent. Okay, picture this. Before his second coming, the woman, the Jewish people of Israel, will be given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, away from the reach of the Antichrist. The term, two wings of a great eagle, represent how God himself led Israel out of Egypt with provisions, and protection, which he intends to do again, at this time, during the last three and a half years of the tribulation period. Now, ask yourself, why would God only provide for, and protect, the remnant that went into the wilderness, for three and a half years? Why not longer? It is because, after three and a half years, you are past the end of the tribulation period, which places you in the time of his second coming. So, he limited them to only three and a half years, because the rapture would provide for them from that point, going forward. For they will become a part of the great wonder in the heaven, of a woman clothed in the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of stars upon her head. Therefore, the woman spoken of in Revelation 12, will become the raptured saints, on display in the heaven, for the whole world to see, at his second coming. Do you remember, what the angel said to the people watching Jesus ascend into heaven? He said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. But as Jesus ascended into heaven as our head, he will likewise descend from heaven as our head. But also with his body, that includes the woman that fled into the wilderness, and with us, in a fashion similar to the picture before you. How we idolize people on the TV how we idolize the people in movies. How we idolize the people in videos. Well, we too will have our time of fame. And our medium of display will be the canvas of the sky. And everyone will look to it, and wonder after the magnificence of our beauty as we light up the heaven above. If you want to be a participant, in the coming movie, that will be shown on the screen of heaven, with you starring with Jesus. Tell God, I know I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. Tell God, I believe Jesus died for my sins. Tell God, I believe He was dead and buried. And tell God, I believe He was raised on the third day. If your confession is from the heart, then, at that day, you will be streaming live from heaven, to a captive audience on earth. Thanks for watching. The earth today is waiting to be delivered of its fruit, and when she is, it will be the greatest show to grace the sky of heaven. If this study has helped you, please share it with your family and friends, and subscribe and comment, and give it a thumbs up. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars.
And she being with child cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. Amen.